Dear students, please note down. These notes have been uploaded in the description of video. Please download your notes. Dear students, in this chapter of Pinus, we have already discussed general introduction, classification, and primary structure of root as well as secondary structure of Pinus root. In today's lecture, I will clear primary structure of Pinus stem. Very important topic for BSc students. Dear students, in today's lecture, we will discuss primary structure of young pinus stem. This stem, primary structure that shows following parts. Epidermis. Dear students, this outermost layer. At this outermost layer, it is made up of thick-walled parenchymatous cells. And this epidermis is well covered by a thick layer of cuticle. Next layer is hypodermis. Just below this epidermis, this 4 to 5 layered hypodermis is present. And this hypodermis, which is made up of saclan chyma cells, and this hypodermis which provides mechanical spot to the tissue. Next part is, that is cortex. Dear students, this cortex, it is multi-layered and it consists of thin-walled parenchymatous cells. In this cortex, these resin ducts are present and these resin ducts which secrete resin, that is a natural source of Turpentine. This endodermis and pericycle in case of pinus stem that remains indistinguishable. Vascular bundles, very important, very important. Vascular bundles or steel. In case of pinus stem, the vascular bundle it is ectofloic. Dear students, ectofloic, it means this flying, it faces outwardly it faces towards cortex it is ectofloic polyfascicular polyfascicular means in pinus stem several vascular bundles are there generally five to nine vascular bundles or steels are present or there may be more than nine vascular bundles and these vascular bundles which are arranged these are compactly arranged in a ring. Dear students, and these vascular bundles which are separated by thin strips of parenchymatous layers, these are primary medullary rays. The UST or vascular bundles in pinus stem are conjoined. This is the structure of a vascular bundle. It is conjoint, means both xylem and phloem are present. This vascular bundle, it is collateral. It means xylem and phloem are present on same radius. This vascular bundle, it is open because between this phloem and xylem, there is a strip of cambium is present. Tissue having bad stomatic cells. Tissue having dividing cells, which undergo mitotic divisions. It means the vascular bundle, it is open. And this cambium, which is present inside the vascular bundle, it is interfascicular cambium. Note down each and every point. The vascular bundle, in case of pinus stem, that is open because between Phloem and xylem, a cambium, a dividing tissue, meristematic tissue, that is intrafascicular cambium is present. It is open type. It is conjoint because both xylem and phloem are present. It is collateral. Both xylem and phloem are present on same radius. And dear students, this vascular bundle, it is endark because in this xylem, the protoxylem, the first form xylem that faces towards center. 
so it is n dark and this meta xylem the late developed xylem it faces outwardly the students it is ectophloic because the phloem that faces outwardly it is polyfascicular because several vascular bundles are there about 5 to 9 or more than 9 vascular bundles and these vascular bundles which are compactly arranged in a ring and these vascular bundles are separated by thin layers of primary medullary rays next primary medullary rays these primary medullary rays which separate the vascular bundles and this primary medullary ray which connects this central part pith to this cortex and this primary medullary ray which involved in radial conduction of substances this is the central solid part it is pith or it is medulla and this medulla consists of thin walled rounded parenchymate cells in this pith in this central region some cells secret tannin these are tannin secreting cells as well as resin secreting resin ducts are present and this central part pith or medulla that involves in storage of food dear students this is all about primary structure of young pineus stem next in next lecture i will clear secondary growth in pineus stem this primary structure shows following parts this outermost thick walled layer which is made up of parenchymate cells it is epidermis and this epidermis is well covered by thick wall a thick layer of cuticle dear students just below this epidermis thick walled hypodermis is present and that hypodermis which consists of four to five layers which are made up of saclenchyma cells. Then thin-walled, multi-layered cortex is present. In that cortex, some resin secreting resin ducts are present. Here in pine stem, this endodermis and pericycle remain indistinguishable. The vascular bundles very important. Or still, the vascular bundles are conjoint both xylem phloem are present both are present on same radius so these are collateral and between this phloem and xylem a meristematic tissue cambium strip is present so it is open this phloem this proto xylem that faces towards center so it is end arc dear students at this central region having pith that involves in storage of food this is all about primary structure of pineus stem